In this segment, uh, we will look at uh, synthesis of single phase AC and applications may be in uh, uninterruptible power supplies and uh, photovoltaic systems. So once again, let's look at the overall structure. Uh, we have the utility voltage here, the load, uh, and uh, there's a DC link in the middle, converter one, converter two, and we are only looking at this part of the system here. Uh, and uh, so uh, for synthesizing single phase AC from a given DC voltage, uh, we will need uh, two power poles, just like we did in case of a DC motor drive. And uh, the average representation of a switching power pole is shown by this uh, circuit uh, by means of uh, an ideal transformer of controllable duty ratio, where this DA is in the range between zero and one. And uh, we can also represent the average that is produced at the current port by means of uh, this ratio, uh, at this expression or this equation, uh, you know, duty ratio times the, the input DC bus voltage. And similarly, this current here <coughs> is related to the average current by this duty ratio DA of this switch. So uh, in case of uh, synthesizing DC, uh, our control voltage or the output voltage we desired in steady state was uh, DC. But in this case, we want to synthesize a low frequency AC. For example, we may want to synthesize uh, 60 hertz, okay? And the input is uh, this DC voltage here at the voltage port. So what we'll do is, uh, uh, we will vary the control voltage in a sinusoidal fashion, uh, which in turn would uh, vary the average voltage that appears across the current port to vary in this uh, sinusoidal manner shown here, okay? And uh, this is uh, superimposed on top of some average voltage, and let's think of it as VD over two. So that will be the common mode voltage uh, on top of which we will superimpose this uh, DC uh, that we wish to, to obtain. Uh, on top of which we will uh, superimpose this uh, AC, low frequency AC uh, that we wish to obtain. So at any instant of time, for example, at this time, uh, if you look under a microscope, uh, so to speak, uh, the waveform for the output voltage that is appearing across the current port uh, you will see that uh, that voltage would look like this. So during a switching time period, uh, it is uh, high for most of the time, it's equal to VD, and for a small time, it's zero right here. Whereas, uh, because you know at this time, we are trying to synthesize a fairly high uh, output voltage. But <clears throat> if you look at uh, this time instant over here, and uh, where uh, the voltage is only this much over here. Then if you again look at uh, in detail uh, at the switching waveform, you'll see that this voltage uh, has, uh, is high only for a small period of time, but for a large period of time, it's zero, okay? So its average value is uh, much smaller here as compared to the average value in the upper plot. So just as a review, uh, you know, we had looked at uh, DC motor drives where we wanted to synthesize some DC voltage across here. And we said, let's uh, think of this hypothetical point N and we have V0 over two uh, to be the voltage at this point with respect to uh, this hypothetical point N. Similarly, this one here at B to be minus V0 over two uh, in both of these poles, we introduced a common mode voltage of uh, VD over two, and that made the, the voltage at uh, these two points with respect to N to be given by these two expressions here. And if you look at the average uh, output behavior, uh, in both of these poles, we have uh, VD over two, which will cancel out from A to B. Uh, and then uh, in addition, we have V0 over two here and minus V0 over two here. So from A to B, 
the voltages V0 that we started with. That's what we wanted to synthesize. <coughs> so we will just uh, extend this analogy to to single phase, for example, in uninterruptible power supplies, or if you want to supply uh, power from photovoltaic arrays to the utility, uh, where this could be the utility rather than a critical load. Uh, so what uh, what we want to do is we want to produce this V0 to be, let's say, a sinusoidal voltage like this, ignoring the ripple in it. And, uh, and we will again introduce a common mode voltage of Vd over 2 in each of these two poles. And uh, of course, again, if you think of this hypothetical point n, then uh, Van is V0 over 2, uh, Vbn is equal to where this point is A, this point is B here, Vbn is minus V0 over 2. So it's uh, absolutely identical to uh, synthesizing DC, except here the output voltage is not DC, rather it's a single phase AC uh, at some frequency omega n, which is 2 pi times F1. <coughs> so the waveforms are shown here. Uh, so this is the the voltage uh, at the voltage port, and uh, we introduce a common mode voltage in both of these two poles of uh, half of Vd. And uh, with respect to this, uh, the voltage at the at, at the output of pole A is varying like this over here. And similarly, with respect to this, the voltage at uh, at the output of pole B is varying as shown by this dotted curve over here. And uh, so <coughs> including this common mode voltage, uh, the voltage at the, the two current ports, voltages at these two current ports are given here. And uh, V0 uh, is then is equal to Va n minus Vbn. And uh, here the common mode voltage would uh, cancel out and this will be equal to just Vn minus Vbn, and uh, this will be equal to V0 that uh, we were looking for. <clears throat> so on the average, this V0 would be equal to what we were trying to synthesize here, and that is shown by this waveform right here. And we can also find the, the current that is drawn from uh, these uh, single phase inverters from the, from the voltage port. If we equate the power coming in, Vd times uh, this ID average to the power that is going out, then we can calculate what uh, uh, this current waveform would be. This quantity here is DC, but uh, the output voltage uh, on the AC side is varying like this, the output current is varying like this here. You multiply the two, uh, both are at uh, this frequency omega one, but the current is displaced by this phase angle, let's say phi one. And you can see that once you multiply these two sine terms, uh, we have this quantity, which is a DC quantity. But in addition, <coughs> the current that is drawn from the voltage port has this uh, second harmonic here. So that is the unfortunate part of uh, single phase uh, inversion uh, because the power that is uh, flowing out is uh, pulsating okay, as a function of time at twice the, the fundamental frequency. So that is reflected in the waveform of the current that is drawn from the voltage port. So that also has this uh, second harmonics uh, as you can see here and of course it has also the switching frequency ripple, which is not shown here, because we are talking about the average value here. So this brings us to the end of this uh, segment, where we looked at uh, synthesis of uh, single phase AC, uh, be it for uninterruptible power supplies or applications like uh, <coughs> feeding power from photovoltaic systems into the utility grid.